This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with Apostle Tebow and Prophet Tebow. This broadcast airs every Friday on My Gospel Soul at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bustin' Loose in Faith is a seed of faith evangelistic outreach ministry. We come to bring you word, praise, and inspiration. We want you to remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible. Make sure you share this show at 347 826-9424. Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministers would love to hear from you. Now, let's get into our broadcast with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Right here on My Gospel Soul. Praise on praise on glory, all honor belongs to him this night and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we come to you, humbling ourselves under thy mighty hand tonight, we are so grateful and thankful to be here in the land and living, be on top of the ground, ground not on top of us. We are so grateful as we get out of the way that you may have your way here tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, hide me behind Calvary's cross and mark this little clay. Use me, Father God, for thy glory in the name of Jesus. So, uh, the people's heart to receive thy word in spirit and in truth. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that's trying to hinder the word of God from going forth here tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, as we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit, just come on in like a rushing mighty wind, lead, guide, direct, and ordain our footsteps. And Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In the name of Jesus, we pray for thy glory. Amen, amen, and amen. Wow, God is a good God and worthy to be praised here tonight. If you have your Bible, I'd like you to open up to the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 2. And we're also going to be looking at the book of Psalms, 119, verse 11. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Psalms 119, verse 11, the word of God says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. In the book of Isaiah 43, verse 2, when thou passest through the waters, I will, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindle Upon thee. This is the word of God for the people of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and to the doers of his word. Brothers and sisters in Christ, just for the next few minutes, we want to talk about hallelujah. You have what you tolerate, you have what you tolerate. As we get into the teaching of the Word of God tonight, we want to thank God for another opportunity through the use of the Internet be able to bring forth the Word of God. The Word of God will stand. Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's Word will stand forever and ever. When we look at the word tolerate, the word tolerate means to allow something to be or to be done without making a move to stop it. I'm going to say that again. The word tolerate, it means to allow something to be or to be done without making a move to stop it. Yes, believers of Christ, here in 2022, the world 
is changing, and morals are decaying. Men are getting softer. Individuals' freedoms are dying. Uh, increase in consumption is ever so growing. Surveillance is increasing. And the list goes on, on, and on. We may be in a new technology computer era. But with all that men have dis- have discovered, with all men's wisdom that has increased in the times that we are living in, we still are people that tolerate things that we shouldn't. Remember, you have, in 2022, you have what you tolerate. Sometimes we tolerate things because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. Sometimes we tolerate things in order to fit in, to get in where we fit in. Sometimes we tolerate things that we know is not right in order not to cause, not to cause a problem. But I stopped by to let you know tonight that God holds each and every one of us as individual, individually as well as collectively, for us to be representative of Christ and stand up for what is right. It's up to us, brothers and sisters in Christ, to draw the line in the sand and let people know that we'll, we stand up for righteousness' sake. We stand up according to what the word of God is saying. We are con- we are committed to what we believe in. A lot of us, uh, even born again believers, when we in the confinement of a church building, or even in the confinement of our homes, we are excited about having the labor as being a man or woman of God. But the question is, when we get out out of the privacy of our homes, out of the confinement of a church building, and go beyond the four walls into the highways and the byways, do we have that steel, that zeal, that discipline, that determination to let people know, for God I live, and for God, I'll die. Here, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we look at the book of Psalms, 119, verse 11, it says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I may might not sin against thee. So that's why the word of God says, and for us to study, to show our self-approved, by self-approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed Rightly dividing the word can obtain knowledge. Only thing that we can uh, have a confidence of knowing the word of God has to be beyond, you have to go beyond our human thinking and fall into the depths of our human heart because God is a God of the heart. You know the story, the heart is full, can be deceitful. The heart is wicked, and only God can change men's heart. Only God can change men's heart in ways so that you can become a better you, a better servant of the Most High God. When we read in the book, of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 20. The New American Standard Version of the Bible says, but I have this against you, that you tolerate the woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, and she teaches and leads 
my bond servants astray so that they commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. Here, John the Revelator in the book of Revelation is reminding us in Revelation 2, verse 20, that God has, hallelujah, that God is letting us know that this woman by the name of Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, and she teach and lead his people astray. So that they will commit, they commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. Now we know that how God feels about idols. In the book of Genesis, one of the commandments is not to put no other God before God. I'm talking about no other small g, O-D-S, before big G, O-D which is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, all agrees as one. When we, as a born-again believer of Christ, we should know better. We should, uh, because our spiritual eyes are open now. Our spiritual ears is open to the voice of the Holy Spirit Jesus saying in the word, in the gospel, my sheep hears my voice. I know them, and they know me. Yes, we look on to Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith. So we as born again believers that know the truth, because we are a student of the word of God. Bible says that the truth lead God and direct us in the absolute truth. The truth will make us free. So as we live in this time in, this, in 2022, as born again believers of Christ, part of our wardrobe is to speak the truth, walk the truth, live the truth, be wrapped up, tangled up in the things of God. Remember, you deserve what you tolerate. Oh, yes, you do. Because if you allow people in this hour to treat you any kind of way, and you know there is a standard that God has already placed in our lives to represent for. We know that according to the word of God that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Part of the persecution is that we have to be built up in the faith. So when people talk about it, call us everything but a child of God, that we have enough word deep in within us where we can look beyond their fault and see the need. Even though they may cuss us out, even though they may call us Jesus freaks, we still have to let it be like water on a dozen back. It's poured on, but it's splashed right off. So again, my brothers and sisters, we have to understand that people of God, we are living in a world culture today where the church as a whole, we have 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 tolerated things for so long that these words have come home to roots. We have tolerated worldly things to come into the church. We have tolerated, hallelujah, people that we know that wasn't right to get behind pulpits throughout the country and the world 
and preach a perver- a gospel of perversion. We have to understand the principle of sowing and reaping. We as a church, we have gotten too timid throughout the years. And because of our of people, we are allowing people to intimidate us and not taking a righteous stand, knowing that what God's word is saying, well, sin has crept into the church. Sin has crept in because we as church leaders, servants of the Most High God, we allow it to come in, come in our lives as well as the lives of one, the ones around us. Hallelujah. We have to understand, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that as born-again believers, we are living in an ever-changing, a never-changing world. But we serve. We are living in a world that is steady changing. But we serve a God that never changes. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Talking about Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we, as followers of Christ, have to understand that Jesus Christ set the example for us to follow. Yes, we are in the computer age. Yes, man's wisdom is increasing. But it's all that have been prophesied in the word of God. That it says in the last days that we are living in, man's wisdom would increase. Believer of Christ, our faith as believers of Christ, we are in a current culture where our own faith is going to be tested on every front. This has allowed, this has always been This has always been true for people who follow after Jesus. Remember what I said earlier? All that who live godly in Christ Jesus would suffer persecution. For an example, when we look at men and women of God in the word of God that God have used mightily, when we look at John, when he was when he came to the rocky island of Patmos, his faith was tested. When the snake bit him, the serpent bit him, as he was applying the law to the fire. Those are him to die. Because it was a venomous snake. But John, because God's hand was on him and his assignment wasn't done with yet, John just shook it off and he did a mighty work for the Lord at that particular time. When we look at the apostle Paul, a mighty man of God that was used. How mightily towards the saving of souls of the Gentiles. Paul faith, Paul faith was tested when he referred to a thorn in the flesh. Paul, three different times he approached the Lord concerning that thorn in the flesh. And God told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient for thee. Let the believers of Christ say it when I am weak to confess that they are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we can go on and on 
of people that was used mightily for God. People of God, when when we talk about a fiery furnace, for some of us, it might we will face fiery furnace even in twenty twenty two. When we talk about fiery furnace in life, some of us might be gone, might be involved in different circumstances or situations. A fiery furnace that you may be gone through in 2022, it might be the loss of a job or a child on drugs or a number of other challenges that might that might come our way in this contemporary custom contemporary custom that we are living in. Yes, beloved, our faith, my faith, your faith, every believer's faith will be tested. You see, you have what you tolerate. What you tolerated yesterday is what you have today. God is a good God. Child of God, the, the world is calling for tolerance all around us. It is a call for us as God's people, as children of the Most High God, as believers of Christ, to join the others who is bowing down to other small g gods in 2022. Beloved, here tonight, on this Tuesday night, on March, on March the 8th, 2022. And God is, beloved, calling us as his children in the face of a culture that is advocating, advocating tolerance, that we must learn to live with outside pressure because they are not going away. We can stand in the gap and pray until we blow in the face. But hallelujah. We are not immune to what God allows. God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. People of God, remember this always, that opinion is based on what we think. But conviction is based upon what God said. I'm going to say it again for a child of God, a believer of Christ. Remember this always, that Opinion is based on what we think, but conviction is based upon what God says. So people of God in 2022, we have to be careful not to bow down before all kinds of idols in our contemporary culture. Some people carry the labor of being a Christian. But if our life is not, if our lives is not lining up with what we stand for, then we're being a hypocrite. That's why our video has to line up with our audio. That's why we can't live one way. And that's why we can't say one thing and live something else. Our lives have to line up with our talk. Some of us have made idols of possession, of people, of popularity, or of any number of projects. You see, we 
Some people, even church folk, even Christians, has made pleasure as their God. What pleases the flesh is what they get involved in. The flesh will always be enemy to the spirit of man. Because the flesh don't want to die. It don't want to come under submission, under the authority of Jesus. That name that's above every other name. We have to remember, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that in the world that we are living in, in 2022, if we allow ourselves to be moved by the pleasure of our flesh on things we see, touch, feel, on things we hear, things that we desire. We in for we in for a rude awakening. You see the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, they are all enemies towards God. God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Where God says now there is no condemnation to them that are led by the Spirit of God and don't yield themselves to the fleshly desire. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, the God that we serve tonight, he wants us to understand that we will have what we tolerate. Believers of Christ, you know what the scripture said. When you look in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3 and 4, Thou shalt have no other God, small g, before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. That is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. But most Christians in 2022, they still bow down when peer pressure comes their way. For an example, we just they had a celebration for Mardi Gras. And a lot of people didn't we really would know what Mardi Gras stand for. They would really consider it what it's all about. It is a celebration for the devil. It is a celebration for Satan, for, for Satan works. And out of ignorance, some Christians, they just flock to do the celebration for lifting their hands up to catch beads, tricking, not knowing that it's a sign when you do that that you given honor to the Satan worshipers. Honor to Satan and his imps. But we as Bible says that my people is destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. And because of the knowledge that we don't take the time to find out what it represents for, then we get caught up. In other words, we, we get in to fit in, not knowing that, that it may not be right. So that's why it's so important for us to understand that, we, that what, we, what we have is what we tolerate. And God wants us to do better, to live a life that is godly, a life that is pleasing in his eyesight. Again, my brothers and sisters, tonight we are talking about you have what you tolerate. Thank you, Jesus. I hear you 
talking about what Jesus did for you. Spread your gospel, but is it the truth? Judging people high and low out of self-righteousness. Jesus said don't judge no one when your stuff is a mess. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. Live for real. Live it for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. You're always on the phone with other itchy ears. Telling folks business while yours is in the clear. My God, he sits high and he looks low. You'll see more blessings when you hang up the phone. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live for real. Live for real. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live for real. Live for real. Live it for real.